The St. Lucia Labour Party, SLP, has slammed the government for not waiving book fees for the upcoming school term during the pandemic. The pandemic prompted the closure of classrooms, forcing educators to take a virtual approach to learning. This placed further strain on vulnerable students who have had a hard time accessing school supplies. First Deputy Leader of the SLP, Dr. Ernest Hiller, says under the SLP, students would have received book at no cost during the pandemic. The statements were made at the first ever virtual SLP public meeting on Sunday, July 19th. We should not be requiring parents to pay for school books. A St. Lucia Labour Party would have waived all school fees right now. No parent should be asked to pay any school fees for the upcoming school year. Cannot ask. There are too many parents that have lost their jobs and those that used to hustle are leaving do not now have any means to earn a living. Why should he be paying school fees for this year? We should, we would, a Labour Party would have waived it. We would have waived it. Castry South East candidate Senator Joachim Henry continues to criticize the government for favoring infrastructure projects over the educational needs of students. You cannot put the lives on children on pause. You cannot put people's lives on pause. The children who are suffering today, you cannot tell them, wait. You could tell them, you could wait for an airport, you could wait for a highway, you could wait for a road, but the children who need to go to school, you cannot tell them, wait. It is, it is indeed a government who doesn't care. The SLP also continues to condemn the halting of the One Child Per Laptop program by the Alan Chastney-led administration in 2017. The initiative was implemented by the opposition in 2013. Henry took issue with laptops now being a requirement on book lists. Who had laptops being given freely to them? And to stop it, and to dare to put it on the book list. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I worked at the SSDA for so many years. When if, even when things were good, parents were still having the, uh, the having the struggles to provide the school books. Back then, when things were better, they could not have provided the books. They came to the SSDA for help. The government has been contemplating fully reopening schools to in-person instruction in September 2020. But a cloud of uncertainty still hangs over such plans, with some experts predicting a second wave of COVID-19 cases. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.